What's up everyone, Fire Willy here, back again with you with another Minecraft series. This time we are starting off in a brand new world. This is the Asylum server. So I welcome you. Hang out with me, chill out a little bit, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. So uh, Behind me you can see is the actual Asylum itself. So let's zoom out. Oh my god, the world's so empty. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, this is what, how, how, how Spawn looks, and um, I've been a part of the Asylum server for was it a couple years now, and just have never gotten around to recording on it, doing series like that on it, so I decided, you know what, it's a new year, 2015, straight ahead of us, this is day number one of it, so why not start off with a, a brand new series, though, huh? Alright, so this is season two, yes, yeah, season two. Of the, I believe it's season two. Pretty sure, to my knowledge. But who knows? I could be wrong. Uh, this is, uh, to my knowledge, season two of the Asylum server. I'm the only one on right now. The 16 means that's how many times have died. That's no fun at all, I know that. Um, it's just after Christmas, obviously, since it's New Year's Day. And uh, we have the giant Christmas tree up, all that fun stuff. And there's going to be a lot of familiar faces that you guys see. I just heard a skeleton. I swear. I heard it again. They're hiding. I know they're hiding. Um, they're just kidding. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, a lot of familiar faces you guys are going to see. Um, especially some people that I've played with before. Um, Skills, uh, Shabby Q, Scully, they're all on here. Um, there's people on here who record. There's people on here who um, just stream. And then, of course, there's, there's me who does kind of both. So, But yeah, so Spawn is still fairly new. Um, this season is fairly brand new. I have done a couple of things. We'll head over to my Spawn house. Basically, what this episode is going to be is just like a quick little tour of the server, kind of talking about what it is and um, what we're going to be doing on it. So it's a good group of people on here. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure we're going to have lots of fun. You guys are going to enjoy watching them as well as watching me. And seeing what kind of mischief we can get into on, on pretty much on a daily basis here. So, Alright, so we have ourselves a uh, just a simple little bridge. That there, that rail system, goes to the skeleton farm. Which is a pretty good looking farm over there. It's just... just over there, just beyond our uh, our viewing. So, uh, but this is my uh, this is my spawn house. It's called the Bunny Ranch for uh, obvious reasons. You will shortly see. If we go to the top of the hill here. Here we go. Powder the fields. Fire Willie's Bunny Ranch. All right, it's almost night time. We're gonna come out here real quick though. Grab me some of this. All right. And why? I'll show you why. Ta-da! All me little bunnies. Hello, my minions. How are you today? <laughs> now dance for me. Yes, dance for me. They go crazy. All of them. Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes, hello. They definitely cause a little lag. <laughs> It's really cool. I, I like I like the rabbits, the whole rabbit thing. It's really fun to like just watch them go crazy like this. It's great. Take away a carrot, and they're all like nonchalant, just like da 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 da. But you bring up a carrot. Wait, carrot. There we go. Now you're starting to pay attention. Look at them just running, running after me. They're like, come on, man, give me the carrot, man, give me the carrot. Fine, here, have a carrot. I don't want the dang thing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a quick nap here. But this is my store that we have here at Spawn. It's um, people who want rabbits or whatever. You know, they can come get rabbits. There's all this fancy-dancy fun stuff in here. And payment chest, obviously. You can uh, Each one of these costs diamonds so or an iron ingot. Try to keep the prices cheap. <clears throat> but that is our lovely... Uh, abode here at spawn and we have a we have a base we have a base i have been working on it since uh 
since very early on this season. So we're going to go ahead up that way and kind of check it out. Mostly because I don't know where people's bases are around here. Um, I know where Shabby's is at. Everybody else is, is kind of hidden. Like I think somebody's down there. Um... If you follow the arrows backwards, you'll head out to where Ray Chisel is, and she is a live streamer. Of course, all the links are going to be down below uh, in the description, you guys. So I, I you know, you, I strongly suggest you, you subscribe to all the YouTubers and you follow all of the live live streamers. So let's see here. I know where Shabby lives, so we'll go check out where Shabby's place is at. Everybody else, I kind of don't really know. Some of them have nether portals that lead there. Some of them don't, to my knowledge. Uh, I guess. I believe someone lives down that road. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure how far. But somewhere down there. <coughs> Shabby's flag. Obviously, it looks like a uh, like a like a weird kind of duck thing going on. And you'll notice it shortly. You will see it up in the sky. He did a pretty monster build out here. Nice little stroll through the desert. I haven't really gotten around to doing too much landscaping around here or whatnot. Kind of just uh, doing my own thing, which is nice when you don't have your own server. You know, when you're on somebody else's server, you, you don't feel obligated to do um, a lot of stuff to make it uh, to make it look all fancy and whatnot. All right, we should be coming up here shortly. I hear zombies. I hear them. All righty. I'm the only one on right now. Obvious. I mean, it's 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 it is later at night, so a lot of people don't usually get on later at night. Shabby's here. He's got a bunch of a uh, bunch of blue sheep out here. A bunch of all, all sorts of colored sheep out here. Let's see, blue sheep and all that stuff. So yes, um, you're like, hey, um, where's his, uh, where's, where's his build at? You know, you told us you have a monster build out here, you know, I don't, I don't really see anything. You know, where's it at? Well, it is right. Da, 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 da. Chevy Q Space Station. It's an international space station. I don't know why I'm using an accent to talk about that. Maybe it's because it's international. I don't know. I don't know how to get up there. I think he has a, uh, a portal. But I don't think it's in here. Ooh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it's up there. Uh, there used to be uh, stairs that went all the way up there, but they've since gone. But I do believe that there is a portal. I think it's in the nether hub. And that is how you get there. So, I'm fighting off a cold. Uh, that's why you guys haven't seen a lot of videos from me as of late. Which really sucks when you're trying to do videos and you have like a clogged nose or a stuffy nose. You know, you just gotta. It gets a little annoying. So, all right. So I'm gonna take a quick trip back to spawn, and we're gonna check out the Nether Hub, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're back here at the asylum itself. I'm gonna take you on a quick little tour. Um, basically, the bottom floor is nothing but uh, just chests, storage, things like that. As we go further up, you know, you got your like, enchanting table and all that fun stuff. And of course, you can hear the people in the asylum being tortured. They're high up above us. <laughs> and then there's these little rooms. I can go along and whatnot. I don't have a room yet. I think that's a good thing. I don't think you really want a room in an asylum, but I think it's mostly for everybody to have at least at least a chest and a uh, and a bed. So, all right. So we're gonna head in here to the Nether Hub, which is still under construction. So. only happens when you do stuff with uh, nether hubs so everything else is fine all right to my area and the stronghold I I am I guess the 
the gatekeeper for the for the stronghold. I didn't plan it either. I didn't want to live near the stronghold. I had no plans. I'm not a big fan of the end. So it wasn't exactly like the thing I wanted to do. It just so happens that I was digging down one day and voila, I have stronghold. Fan freaking fantastic. I wasn't happy, so. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. See, you get this lag. Lag going on. Let's see, it should throw me back there. Come on. Yep, there it is. Alright, so you, you show up here. Well, this is my beautiful nether. Nether entrance, basically. And you come up here, you follow the nice little trail. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know why, I, I have a tendency, I, I've, I've grown like a, like an OCD kind of thing, I just constantly hit the tab button, I don't know why. Alright, so we're up here, and there's this giant fence with a tower. It's like, what the heck's going on? Well, it's simple. This is my kingdom. It is definitely under construction. <laughs> but, uh, this is, uh, this is how it is so far, it's not too bad, not too shabby. Um, little horse area and whatnot. I'm gonna have a farm area in there. I got my villager breeding currently going on down below down here. This little guy thinks there's a village there and he keeps spawning more. And they're all in there. And then I'll send them all over here. I'm still working on security issues and things like that. So uh, over to here to the uh, to the farmers market basically is what I'm gonna be calling it. And these little guys are going to be available for trades and whatnot. So, best trades are going to be in there. This is my little shanty at the moment. This is where <laughs> this this is where I've been living. My little hole in the ground. But yeah, that's the main gate into into this area. I've still got to work on the walls all the way around the thing. Still working on the castle itself. But I will show you around. So. Um, the current farm, which is all going to be moved over there, uh, the main entrance here into the castle, which will lead you into the, uh, into the main area here where, of course, the, uh, the king, king, queen, whatever you want to call whoever's in charge of this place kind of sits and reigns over their castle. Um, up this way leads into, uh, this kind of open room which you can uh, then go to these little offshoots which also go over back that way or you can come up here which leads into this room which I have not yet uh, decided what this room will be uh, but this room here allows you to come out here and get the overall look of, uh, of everything of all the peasants and all that stuff so that's where that's going to happen. You continue following this up, and you'll come out into like the pretty much the main room. This is like where like the dances, the balls, blah 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 blah, all that fun junk happens. And you come out here. This because there's going to be a giant wall here, roof here, obviously, and you'll be able to overlook uh, the giant plains area and all that stuff. I know a little further over that way, just out of reach of where we can see, is where uh, J-Lo, J-Lo Man, that's his name, that's where he lives, so. Right, nighttime is upon us, so we shall take a quick little nap and make it daytime again. There we go. All right, if you are new to watching my videos, but you're a fan of like the Asylum guys and you were sent here by one of them, I strongly suggest you hit that follow button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and comment. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot. All right, so we're gonna check, take a look out the backside here. This is where the wall is gonna go. So it's a small little kingdom, but you know, not bad. I think I really like the uh, the area that it's in. So that's cool. This is going to be the living quarters. It's going to go up further. Up into here in this kind of area like that. So, oops. This is going to be the back door area into this room, which I think I'm going to make this like the area with the, uh, basically the large dining room 
area. So, okay. um, we'll come around this way. Victoria, of course, you can look down there again. And you can come over here into this tower, which is where the brewing is happening. Which I um uh, I don't do brewing. I don't. I've never done it before. See, there's that there's that randomness again. I don't do brewing. It's uh, something I've never done before. So it I'm trying to kind of get into it. I'm experimenting a little bit, so it's going to be interesting. All right, so you can come over this way, and there's nothing fancy over here. Nothing spectacular. There's a giant empty room that I don't plan really on doing anything with, but who knows, it could be like an armory or something like that. It's hidden underneath the stairs, so. Um, to the end is this way. Also this way is the library slash um, enchanting area. So, we got all that fancy stuff going on. My lovely ender chest. All right, um, let's do this. See, I want to keep that, keep that, keep that. Actually, I don't need to take these with me. I, I, or actually, I can keep these with me because we're not actually going to go into the end. We're just going to go down there to the end entrance, which is down this way. Wow! There we go. All right, so you got to come through here. This is kind of the. Uh, how, what do you call it? Like the sewer slash, um, like the cell area, what do they call it? Um, dungeon area of, of the castle. So, you can go in here to the, ex the exit is up that away, and the sleeping area is in here. So, if anybody comes down here, to the end and you know they want to respawn here because obviously when you come back through the end you'll come back through where you last slept so right there now if you want to go into the end there I go again hit that button um, you just come in here and you jump on in so yes but we have not fought the dragon yet so I do not do not recommend going in there unless you um, are prepared to die because you will die which is the main reason why I have 16 deaths as you can see all right, then you come up these stairs when you're done, because obviously you can't go back up the uh, the giant hole that we jumped down. Come back up here, and you come right out this door here. So, so yes, uh, lots of work still needs to be done in the castle. Lots of work still on the uh, on the walls that go around. Um, I've got me a little chicken farm going on down there. This little farm here. Um, Still looking forward to lots of landscaping going on. Um, as you can see, I'm doing lots of work on this thing. So it's slow, it's sluggish, but it means lots of really cool episodes for all of you. And you get to join me in my journey to make this a nice place, as well as a flourishing place with all the villagers that I'm going to be having around here. So. Um, I'm breeding them currently. That's my main uh, thing right now before I start to plant all of pretty much everything here. My giant garden. So it's going to be cool at the same time trying to keep zombies away and all that because it took me a long time to, uh, to get the zombies before I found some zombie villagers that I could change into villagers itself. So. Uh, let's take a quick little look at my little operation. It's not really, not really too like. I'm not good at making like operations, I guess you could call it, or like spawners or things like this. Uh, but we are doing good. They're obviously loud. We will uh, turn them down. There we go. All right. So basically. What it is, is that guy down there, I put him down there, and he senses, because of all the doors, all you need is like six doors, six or nine doors, something like that, but I overdid it on purpose. Uh, there was a lot of trial and error in making this, so he says, okay, a bunch of doors, I'm the only one here, 
uh, there's a village nearby I need to start breeding therefore two people up here will start breeding by picking up uh, some of these uh, by planting and whatnot and what basically what you do is like that guy's doing right there see he's picking them up and he's planting them because he is a farmer type yeah he's a farmer right there also you have uh, pretty much everybody who's just pure brown like not like that not like that not like that not like that uh, that guy right there he's a fisherman but at the same time, he is a farmer. So they go around and they pick up these potatoes. And it doesn't have to be potatoes. It can be like anything you want. And he throws them at these other guys. And these other guys get hungry. And for some reason, when they eat, they're like, ooh, I'm horny. And then they're like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. And the next thing you know, these little things pop out. <laughs> That's basically how it, how it happens. And then um, when I find a guy in here who has good trades, I kind of uh, try to coerce them into this little room there. Uh, which then I will, once I have him in there, I open this up and try to get him to come down into here. Which then one of them comes into here. And then I'll let them come through this little way until they finally walk their way down this way. Which I currently do have one down here. There he is. Go, go. Yes, you stay there. And then I'll put that there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because I don't want him to walk back. Because he has to walk this long walk. Uh, looks like we're going to there. Okay, so. Uh, Alright. So then he will come up here. Where I will try to get him into one of these little... Uh, I'm going to try to get him into this one, so... And he will be one of the good trades. Which right now, these trades are... They're decent, but they're not, like, really good. Like, we'll, we'll check it out right here. Like, this guy here's got a Sharpness 5 book. That's it so far. He's a librarian. This clerk here is a bottle of enchanting right now. And it's expensive for it right now. Uh, this guy right here will give you a good iron shovel. Although, it's going to cost you some emeralds, obviously. And this guy here will do wool for emeralds. Um... But yeah, everybody else is kind of like really even more expensive. So I still need to work on making all this more secure. Right now, zombies come up here and they're just like, me, feed me, me want villager, feed me villager, me. But they can't get in there yet. And for some reason, they keep coming down here thinking they can get into that. And they're like, me. So, so I keep having to kill them all the time. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, my world so far on this little, uh, this, I, sh I should say, it's my little world on this giant asylum server. There we go. Alright, so you guys can uh, hang out with me for a bit. You can feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Obviously comments, you know, I mean, if you're new to the asylum server, let me know what you guys think about it. Um... If you are a fan of another Asylum member and this is your first time hanging out on the channel, you comment, let me know. And let me know what you guys want to see on here. What do you want to see me build? All the fancy stuff like that. And uh, I'll see the best I can do. Obviously, my big strengths are landscaping, so be, pre be prepared to see a lot of that. I still have to do the nether tunnel, so got that to look forward to and all that stuff. And lots to go here before we decide to move on to another project, so... Um, the castle is premier fo pr yeah, like premier focus, primarily focused, basically. And we'll see what happens. I'm very, very simple, as you can see. So, all right. And for my fans who are my loyal viewers, obviously stay tuned because there's lots more to come with the asylum and obviously other stuff involving Minecraft and uh, many of my other uh, series on YouTube. So. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, everybody, I'm Fire Willie, of course, and I will. Ooh, ooh, backside. See you later.